Hi everyone, Flora Sage here, and today is Throwback Thursday, the day where I share with you a business blunder in hopes that you will not make the same mistake I did. So for those of you who are tuning in who are new to me, I am a spiritual business mentor and financial coach to women entrepreneurs. And today's topic, again, is Throwback Thursday, and my business blunder, was caring what other people thought. <laughs> so, <clears throat> in my business, I share spiritual, personal, and business development and advice for all of you who care to watch. And when I first started online, so I started my business in 1997, so way back in the day, over 20 years ago, and I, st I started it as a side hustle and worked in the community for a long time, and then, in 2009 went online and started making YouTube videos well in those YouTube videos it was a blend of spiritual and personal development with a little bit of business development mixed in and a lot of people clung to just the spiritual aspect of what I was sharing and um, when finally after I was on there for you know, several years I decided to shift focus and focus more on the business and uh, personal development um, and then of course now I've transitioned to doing more business development with a little bit of the spiritual and you know personal blended in and over the years I've had some very interesting comments very interesting um, emails from people who have followed me and I used to care what those people thought, but realized that when I let what they said influence me, I ended up censoring myself and I ended up not being a true version of myself. And so I just started to not give a crap about what anybody thought. I wanted to share what I wanted to share, what I was guided to share for my people and so that's what I did. And I pissed a lot of people off, which is absolutely okay because I am not for everyone. <laughs> and that's one of the things that I want to share with you today and really impress upon you is that if you want to have a thriving business, you need to polarize your message, okay? You need to pick a fence or <laughs> pick a side of the fence, okay? So yes, actually pick a fence. Pick a topic that you care about and then pick a side don't sit on the middle and go oh well yeah i can see this side and i can see this side i can see both sides from where i'm sitting but i choose to pick a side of the fence now what happens when you pick a side of the fence whatever fence you decide to go on you're going to polarize your message what does that mean you're going to piss some people off okay and that's okay because not everybody is for you. Not everyone is meant to work with you and you're not meant to help everybody and that's okay. One of the biggest things, one of the biggest mistakes that I hear from people, and it is a mistake, is thinking that they can help absolutely everybody. And you can't. You know, there's not one person on the planet that can help absolutely everybody. And in your business, if you want to have a thriving business that makes money and supports you in your life, you have got to polarize your message. You have to pick a side. You have to pick a demographic. You have to just decide who you want to work with and own it. And part of that is owning your message, owning your story, owning what it is that you're going to do. And again, some people are going to get pissed off with that and not want to work with you and you should be fine with that, okay? If somebody's gonna get pissed off about what I say or what I do, bye, perfect. I don't wanna work with that person anyway, seriously. You know, and that's the thing that I see, like I said, the biggest blunder that I experienced and also that I see other people do is you try to please everybody. When you try to please everyone, you're gonna be broke, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be, um, Frustrated because your message is not sticking. You're, you're not reaching the people that truly need to hear what it is that you're sharing. So in your business, pick a side of the fence. Whatever topic, whatever niche, wherever you are, get clear on where you are 
and your opinions about it and be okay to ruffle feathers, be okay to piss people off. Yes, still be tactful in what it is that you're saying and in your message, but own who you are and who you really wanna work with and learn to just not care what other people have to say, okay? Because if, well, first of all, if people are pissed off, then obviously you've, you've made a big impression on them enough to have them say something, right? But also, in doing so, you're also reaching those people who really, who really, really, really need to hear what you have to say. Now, so many times I hear from people saying, Flora, I don't even know what to say. I've got a business, I'm a blogger, or I wanna be a blogger, or I wanna be a coach, or I wanna do this, or I wanna do that, but I have no freaking clue what to say. I don't even know um, how to position myself. Have no fear, that's okay. I've got a resource for you, it's called the Content Creation Workshop. And in this workshop, I help you get clear on the fence that you're gonna choose, AKA your niche, okay? And then also why you wanna do what you do. I help you get clear on the stories that you can tell your people so that they can start to know, like, and trust you. And when they know, like, and trust you, then they'll try your stuff and then maybe they'll buy your stuff, okay? That's the whole purpose. When you're in business, I don't care if you're Apple, if you're Oprah, or if you are a health coach or whatever it is that you are, you have to figure out who you can serve, what your message is, why you wanna even share the message in the first place, and then you start to compile stories of your life, of, of transformation from yourself, of maybe client testimonials, and then share that with everybody and say, hey, this is my experience. First of all, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is my experience. And through that storytelling, what you're doing is you're building an audience, you're building your tribe, okay? And like I said, sometimes you're gonna piss people off, and that is okay, that is okay. <laughs> So you've gotta be okay with pissing people off. Um, and you know, there are some people that get just pissed off if, just, if you make a video. They're like, oh, she's making another video. And they get pissed. That's okay. <laughs> that is not your problem. That is their problem. So like I said, if you have a challenging time figuring out what the heck to create, I have a really simple workshop. It's one hour. It will help you create 52 topic ideas. That's enough for one a week for the entire year, so you literally can get your topic ideas all done in one hour. So if you want this resource, all you have to do is click the link below and grab the resource. Super simple, super easy, and like I said, one hour of your time is going to give you 52 topics to talk about. And in this, in this workshop, what happens is I'm gonna share with you my secrets on how to really, it's not even really secrets, it's just how to get clear about what the heck you even wanna talk about, why you, why you care enough to talk about it, and how truly transformational your message can and will be. Yeah, so you know, like Melissa says, this resource is amazing, it truly is. It is a game changer for anybody who really wants to make a difference and for anybody who really wants to make money. Now, business is not just about making money, it's about helping people and building relationships. But the more money you make, the more good that you can do. So this will help you to share your message, a relevant message for your audience, and also teach you how to really look past those naysayers and look past those people who really could give a crap about what you have to say or that you might piss them off and that's okay. So like I said, if, if somebody leaves a nasty comment, that's okay, just delete it and move on. Don't take it personally because that comment truly is a reflection of themselves, their, their ideas, their reality, and if they have such a negative life that they have to spew it out on somebody else's video, you know, I feel sorry for them. So really, my heart goes out to those people that spew negativity and are, you know, like that. But hey, you know, no skin off my back. Woo -woo. <laughs> so anyway, so if you are an entrepreneur and you would love this fabulous resource, click the link below in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube or on my website, go ahead and just click the link directly below this video. Grab your resource. It's a one hour video workshop where you can go through. And like I said, you can grab 
all of my secrets to creating 52 topic ideas in just one hour. Now, what can you do with these topics? You can use these for blog posts. You can use these for video topics. You can use these for podcasts. You can use them for course creation. If you wanna figure out an idea for a course that you wanna create, this is the resource for you. So click the link, grab this workshop, and I hope that me sharing this with you has helped you in some form or fashion. If it has, please like, share, and comment. Tag your friends below who are also entrepreneurs who would absolutely love this resource. And I will see you all back here very, very soon. I love you. Bye.